Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Money Sadi. I'm back again for another video. And in today's video, apparently, we got a major publication, Vice. I know y'all watched, <laughs> I know y'all watched a whole bunch of them crazy ass video where they be having people hook up, motherfuckers telling and snitching on themselves, but that's just crazy. But anyway, so we have Vice, somebody that actually is a journalist there, plays 2K, and he gave us a opinion on how 2k has turned straight into a money transaction train all they care about is money bro and i've been preaching this we got a lot of people that have already been preaching this but let's go into this let's get into this video i'm gonna give my sentiments after i read off what he's saying yeah let's go ahead and read this so we have him saying the problem lies, excuse me, let me get, the problem lies in the predatory and aggressive monetization that has existed in the franchise for almost 10 years. A decision that has led to the decline in overall quality, the career mode, and loss of focus on what matters in that mode. Bro, they've, they've lost focus a long time ago. Y'all remember frequency vibrations? Remember when they actually used to name the my player and just instead of just naming him MP, right? I remember there was one NBA 2K because my name is Jamil. They they would never say Jamil. They'll they'll say Jamal, but they'll never say Jamil. I remember one time they was like Jamil with the three. I was like, hey, hey, hey. but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why 2K don't actually say the person's name. Why do they keep saying MP? I don't know. Maybe they're just lazy. But yeah, the only, okay, let's go ahead and scroll down. The only real complaint I have with 2K series is the recent years in how the in, in your face game is about you spending money. Obviously, bro, obviously, right? Every time we load up, we gotta deal with a damn predatory ass, what, what it remind me of mobile games, bro. When I used to play Clash of Clans, <laughs> And they used to be super predatory. It's, it wasn't just classic. It was a whole bunch of like mobile games. Bro. I used to play mobile games tough. I, I got rid of all of that. Once I looked at how much I was spending, out of here. From the moment you get into the main menu, you're met with a pop-up that's asking for your money. I can't even get into this mode first. <laughs> I understand you, bro. I completely understand you. This has been... I think this is the second time. Remember, remember when they used to have uh, ads, bro? This is like them pushing the. They keep on pushing and pushing and pushing. We, hey, we had people in my comments talking about why do you keep playing the game and complaining? Because if we, if we all stop playing the game, they're not gonna make another two K. Let's just get that straight, right? But if we voice our opinion and the people that's actually investing into the game start hearing that. They're gonna they're gonna want to uh, jump ship when they see that 2K is not as profitable as they're saying when they're in them calls, right? The most egregious version of this is what you see in my career mode, bro. My career is nothing compared to my team. <laughs> the my team cats, I feel sorry for all of y'all. Day one, when they get 2K, they dropping five hundred dollars. I bet you, if you really trying to compete for that two hundred and fifty thousand that they be having. Dudes out there dropping damn near close to 5K within two months. Uh, I said two months. Two months. 5K. Go go look, bro. Go go look at the YouTube channels, bro. Go ask them in the in the chat while they're streaming. How much money have you dropped so far, bro? They gonna be they, they gonna be depressed telling you. <laughs> My team has it real tough. I need everyone working on the game to see this. Yes, please, Mike Wang. Every developer, see this. No one wants to start off from 60 overall and grind their way up to enjoy a single player experience. We played a game to escape the world where we could play and be a NBA player. Not work like one. I completely understand what you're saying right here, bro. I completely understand. It's like a, a, a separate job. Like literally, I, I was gonna actually uh, hit, what is it, a stopwatch? How, how long I be in the lab? I'd be in the lab more than I'm actually playing the game, bro. Trying to get my jump shot right, trying to get the dribble moves right. 
right? Bro, before I even go into a rec game, I'm putting at least 20 shots up, bro. At least. You feel me? Like, and I do uh, appreciate how 2K made it to where you can change the slider when, when you just play with your uh, against the CPUs and your mic core. You can change the slider. So if you want to play rec, park, and all of that, it'd be cool. There you go, baby. But, yeah, man. Hold on, let me... I definitely agree with the whole my career sentiment, bro. Like, my career has completely gone off the rails. Like, there's so much that they can put into the story behind my career that can literally draw you in, make you feel like you're really invested in this player, right? So once you actually get out of the my career and then you go into your own realm, like playing park, my, like you can still have that essence of whatever was attacked. Like, damn, I got to be this. I got to be that, man. This player got it. You feel me? A lot of people didn't like the frequency vibrations, the Spike Lee version, but I liked it because it was captivating. When you got that phone call and your homie was dead, homie, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I almost cried because I got ho I got them phone calls before. So I, I could relate to that shit 100%. Somebody in uh, 10 buck two, <laughs> they they probably can't relate to that because they probably ain't been through that. So they was like, hey, this shit try. <laughs> you feel me? But yeah, funny. And even that, and the, and even that would be a forgivable. Even where incentivized to spend money by the way of Park and City, the 2K series has essentially become another form of social media because of these modes. The issue is that in order to enjoy the modes with other people, you have to be around 82 overall just, just to have a shot. That's not. He's not lying. He's not lying. And more often than not, people have spent the money to get 90. Day one, you're not lying, but I'm gonna keep it real with you. You can't get 90 day one that you, you definitely, you can't get 90. It's only going to go up to 85. So I'll correct you right there, buddy. I've been playing two, you can't get 90 day one unless you get up to 99, right? And then you get a rebirth or you can get up to 90 and then get a rebirth. Excuse me, but you're, you're absolutely right, bro. I don't know about forgive for forgive. You know, I mean, I'm not forgiving nothing. This VC shit is just out of control, bro. We remember when it was only 75K VC to max your player, right? Remember that? Bring back just being a sports game. I agree with this, bro. Bring back just being a sports game, right? Bring back just being a sports game. Oh, he said that's, yeah. <laughs> I'm not an anti -micro uh, microtransaction as I used to be. I definitely am. All the way. But look, okay, so look. I understand it from a business standpoint, but look, you're selling a product for $70, and then you want to charge an additional bracketed uh, uh, VC, and then try to say VC is not tied to real currency? Like, come on, bro. We have to spend our real currency in order to buy it in the game. It's not we not spending nothing to... You feel me? <laughs> bro, like this, the, the VC stuff has been egregious for a long time, and I ain't never been rocking with no microtransactions. Stop calling it microtransactions. It's macro trans. It, you, it's a lot of money you're spending. <laughs> All right. But I'm not 100% against how 2K seems to believe it should be done. I am. Games are $70 a pop now. Duh. Now, one should have to be shouldn't have to be forced to spend another 50 to 70 dollars to get a full enjoyment out of the yearly sports game out of the box understandable completely understandable now why aren't we all voicing our opinion about this if we're not all voicing our opinion then we all should 2k like okay they don't care increase the price <laughs> that's exactly how they think that's why I be mean, like getting that. I don't get at people in my comments because I love everybody. I, I love all the support y'all give me. But I do have to correct you. You feel me? Because you do have to voice your opinion. Just being quiet is not going to get anything done. So I'm going to continue to voice my opinion. I'm going to continue to uh, drop rants because not only is it getting my voice out there, it's doing well for my channel, man. All right. Grinding isn't fun in a game where you're simulated doing uh doing something you can only dream of. Some people live vicariously through the games and the career more experience 
grinding isn't fun in game where you're simulating doing something you can only dream. Oh, I just wow, just reread that whole thing. Unfortunately, this is the way they've chosen to handle this game in this shame. Because all of this is still a very good game. No, it's not, bro. Wait, time out. We ain't gonna backtrack. We're gonna keep it funky all the way. We're gonna keep this shit funky all the way, bro. 2K has completely became money homie. I don't know if you know, but Strauss Zelnick, he get paid about 70 mil, 70 mil for the microtransactions. They have an incentive to sell you microtransactions. They not only have psychologists that they're working with that work with color theory, um, uh, how like literally they'll, they'll have a room and then do certain things and then take notes and then go to 2K and then try it and test it out in the real world. I don't think y'all know who the hell y'all dealing with, bro. These dudes have millions of dollars to do these type of tests to see exactly how long, bro, they have they have something that watches your eyes to see. They they play images like 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 say you you um they have some type of uh advertisement for 2K that will pop up. They'll see how long you stay on that and then adjust it and do all these crazy, bro. I'm trying to tell you, we're at a losing battle. So the only way we can do this is if we come together. The only way we do this is if we come together, bro. But the 2K community is just so fractured. But I am so glad that Vice, amongst others, right, are willing to put their own publication on the line to speak the truth. Shout out to this fellow, Anthony Franklin II. You are the GOAT, bro. I just wanted to address this and, 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 and bring this to the light. Anthony Franklin II, bro, thank you. I appreciate you. I also appreciate Vice for allowing him to speak his mind, right? And I wanted to just say, I wish 2K would get back to the game. Just get back to making a great NBA game. Something that is memorable. We want to be able to be up in 2K30 talking about, damn, man, 2K25 was it. That's what we want to be talking about. But yeah, man, a little short little video. I just wanted to hop on here, tell you exactly how I felt about this fella right here. I really appreciate it. Everybody out there showing love, man. I'm out.